Hey guys, this is Oscar doing another weekend project. Today we're working on a 2005 uh, Cadillac uh, CRT. Uh, today we're going to do uh, the rear shocks on this bad boy. Um, pretty easy job. Literally takes like uh, I want to say like 15 minutes. If uh, but if you're new, you're probably gonna you know take a little bit longer. But check this out. The first thing you want to do, you want to go ahead and uh, chalk the front um, tires and you want to go ahead and lift the vehicle from the rear I put my jack stands on the differential there and the next step you want to go ahead and make sure uh, you put uh, jack stands always guys safety first okay guys so you want to go ahead and uh, first step you want to go ahead and open up the back door and Mind you, this is going to be the same procedure for uh, the passenger side and the driver side. So I'm just showing you the driver side, okay? So let me go ahead and uh, continue. So the first thing you want to do, see this little, uh, I guess, strap here. You just want to pull it down. And that's going to go ahead and fold the back seat uh, downwards. The next step, you see this uh, thing here. We're going to go ahead and just push it inwards like so and just kind of give you a better uh, picture here a little bit of lighting this is the actual um top uh axis for the top uh uh there's going to be two 12 millimeter uh nuts that we're going to go ahead and take off now there is this uh uh it's not it's like a rubber i guess um, shielding we're going to go ahead and remove that uh, let me show you how to do that here real quick Alright guys, in order for us to remove this rubber uh, shield, I'm going to use a tool like this. There's like a little clip here. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to go ahead and take, try to take that little clip without damaging the actual pin. Just be careful because this will pop out. Bear with me here. Being a little bit stubborn today. All right, there we go. So now that we moved the actual, I guess, rubber uh, clip there, we're gonna go ahead and gently pull this shield out like so. I'm just gonna put it here for now. And as you can see, it's gonna expose here the top uh, shock mount there so we're gonna go ahead and remove uh, this one and this one that one right there and this one don't touch that one this one and this one all right so let me go ahead and uh, do that here real quick all right guys so uh, you could use uh, something to this uh, uh, effect uh, it's just uh, two extensions with a swivel at the end and then a 12 millimeter uh, socket uh, you can use a ratchet but I'm using my um, uh, cordless impact here just so that way I can kind of like speed up this process a little bit <laughs> and again I'm just being careful putting this bad boy here all right move that one next one there we go again don't worry about it it's not gonna fall off it's just gonna be there so I'm just removing the actual uh, nuts from there all right so the next step I'm gonna go ahead and remove uh, uh, the tire so I'm gonna do that real all quick right, guys so the next step I'm gonna remove uh, the tire So this is the actual top of the uh, shock here, the mount. And again, um, it's not going to fall off. So the next step, we're going to go ahead and uh, remove this uh, 
I don't know if you can see this, give me a better picture. We're gonna remove this uh, bolt. This is a 21 millimeter bolt. So let's go ahead and uh, take that uh, bad boy off. Okay, the next step, we're gonna go ahead and remove this uh, 21 millimeter uh, bolt. As you can see, the top has already been removed. So let's go ahead and uh, remove this 21 millimeter bolt. Put my impact there. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna remove this. It's just gonna come out smoothly like so. So, next step, we're gonna go ahead and just pull down on the actual shock. Bear with me. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and pry. Pry this that way. It should uh, come out like so. See that? I just pried this out like so and then it just came about so now we're gonna go ahead and remove this and that my friend is how you take a rear shock from um, a Cadillac so let me go ahead and show you we're gonna have to change we're gonna remove this uh, nut so we can change this and put it on the uh, new uh, rear shock okay so let's go ahead and uh, continue with that process okay guys so whenever you do uh rear shocks it's always recommended to do them in pairs um again this is going to be uh this brand uh gabriel ultra uh so like i mentioned earlier we're going to take out this uh mounting um top of the shock and we're just going to transfer over to the new one um these ones didn't came come with it so we're going to go ahead and uh, change uh this part here on top of it very easy job so let's go ahead and uh, get that uh, started here okay guys so for this job the way we're gonna remove this we're, uh, all you need is a 15 millimeter uh, wrench and um, you will need adjustable uh, pliers so see this uh, bolt here I mean this little top part I'm just gonna make sure I get this to size and I'm gonna put here my uh, ratchet I'm gonna tighten this like so I'm just gonna go ahead and ratchet this nut out okay so let me go ahead and uh, get that here started see that Getting this bad boy out of here real quick. Alright. There we go. This should remove easily this, this is a 15 millimeter uh, nut and this should just pop up like so see that and this should come apart like this see that again um, you have a stopper this kind of like a, a shield, protected shield. But the new one comes with that shield. I just kind of want to show you what's in here real quick. All right, guys, this is a, what was in here. Again, this goes in here like so, and then goes on top of that, so. This is the old one. We're going to go ahead and use the new one. So let's go ahead and uh, install that one here real quick. Okay, so we're going to get the new one out now. And in order for us to take this out, we're just going to push it down. Let's see if I can do that here to show you. 
like so. There we go. Alright. So, always compare your parts, same length. Alright. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, transfer this over here. So the way we're going to go ahead and do this I'm going to take this one out Here. This is actually the same thing as this Has that rubber garment This one has it in here I don't know if you could see that So all I'm going to do I'm just going to go ahead I'm going to go ahead and put this on top of here so to make my job easier I have some regular use oil just gonna get a little bit of oil put it here on the sides not a whole lot just a little bit so that way I'm gonna use this as a some type of lubricant so that way it can go here okay so just try to be careful One second here. Bear with me. All right, here we go. So now that's uh, in there. I'm just gonna wipe this uh, oil with the rag. But now it's one whole unit. Now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and push, put this bad boy in there, like so. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tighten this uh, up. I don't really know the torque of tying this. I just know that I'm just going to make sure I tie it as much as I can. So, I'm going to use a new nut that the shock came with. Put it in here. I'm going to start to ratchet this nut in inside. Now I notice that the little top part started to move. So now I'm gonna go ahead and use my adjustable wrench. I'm gonna continue to tighten it down. And you'll feel some resistance um, on the actual nut. So I'm just going to keep going until, see, there. I can't go anymore, so I'm assuming that's, that's bottomed out, okay? All right. See how easy that was? And boom. You have a, a sh um, install this uh, top part of the shock. So let, let's go ahead and now install it, okay? Okay guys, so time to install this bad boy. Um, what I'm gonna do, pretty easy. You're just gonna go ahead and stick it in between here, like so. And, once you do that, see that top part? You're just gonna go ahead and put that in there like so, for now. And then, see at the bottom, get you a bigger angle right there I'm gonna go in and uh, get the bolt inside there let me see if I could do this uh, with uh, with one hand give me one second bear with me let me see there's my bolt uh, here it is all right so I'm gonna go ahead and stick that bolt in there let's see if I could uh, line it up you know what guys I'm not gonna be able to do this with one hand but you kind of get the idea um, again we're just gonna go ahead and push this up 
And if you have a friend or someone like that, they could help you. They could uh, put the top bolt, I mean the top nut in there first. And maybe you could come at the bottom and, uh, you know, get this uh, out of the way. So let me go ahead and uh, put the bottom bolt. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So I already installed this uh, bolt here. Um, now, as you can see, the bottom, I mean the top part, uh, it's a little bit uh, off there. Don't freak out. Don't worry. Easy fix. All you do, mind you, just make sure your car is still on jack, uh, jack stands. All you do is just get another jack and put it under the bottom control arm like so. And I'm going to start pushing and you're going to see how this is going to go up. See that? There you go. Yeah, boy. See how it's going up? Told you. Easy fix. And then what you want to do, you want to go on the top. And we're going to go ahead and start putting in the 12 millimeter um, nuts. Now, these go torqued at 18 foot pounds. Okay. Um, again, there's two this one and this one right there. That one. Don't touch this one. We already tied this one. Okay. And then this one, the bottom part, this bottom bolt. It's going to be torqued at 111, okay? 111 foot-pounds. So, guys, I hope this helped. Easy fix. Easy install. 15 minutes tops. All right, guys. Have a blessed day. Take care.